Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Black Couch Convo. My name is Josiah Johnson, I'm your host today, and I'm here with... Jackie Butler and Ebony Cosby. The title of this, um, this episode is What I Wish I Knew. Up next is words from alumni on what they wish they knew. Hello, my name is Peyton Rawlings. I am a current student at Eastern Illinois University. Major is bio pre dentistry. I am also an alumni from the Gloria J. Taylor Foundation. And a couple of things I wish I would have done before attending college was filling out more scholarships to get more money and also retaking my SAT and ACT score multiple times until I was satisfied with my score. That's Hello, everyone. My name is Eugene Tanner, and I'm a UB alumni, and I'm a freshman at Eastern. What I wish I would listen to going into college from high school was just to not party too hard and make sure I'm always turning in my work on time because if you don't, you'll lack, like you'll lack and fall back instead of you progressing. But college is fun. You're going to have fun at college. That's all I got to say. Thank you for having me. That was a great video from our uh, past alumni. Uh, what did you all take from alumni? Um, what I took from my alumni is that college is going to be a fun experience, but I got to make sure that we stay on top of my studies and go there and do what I'm supposed to do. Um, I took from the alumni, I also agree with Faith in saying that you should take your SAT and ACT scores as many times as possible until you're satisfied. I've been taking them since what, freshman year. We've been taking them since first, the actual SAT since freshman year. So I do agree with her to continue taking it until you strive until you get to the score that you actually want. What will you make sure that you do before college? Um, I definitely want to put in enough applications to make sure that I actually leave my options open and actually get which school that I least want to get into. Um, I want to make sure I apply to enough scholarships. I want to make sure my SAT score, score is good. And um, I really just want to be as prepared as possible. Um, scholarships are not going for me because I don't want to stay in Illinois at all. So I definitely have to make sure I get enough money lined up to be comfortable while I'm in college, um, not stressing about, you know, the cost of tuition or anything else. Um, definitely make sure I'm still working toward uh, hiring my SAT score before, you know, actually going off or turning all my SAT scores to colleges. So, that's great. Okay, so just, these are just a couple pieces of advice. advice. You know, we're seniors in high school, so there's a couple things that we wish we knew before we went into high school and we wish somebody would have told us. So, um, take advantage of your resources, definitely. Meet with your counselors as many times as possible. Make sure your counselor knows you by name and by face. Um, it's very important for your counselor to actually know you. That way they know what your major is and they can navigate you on the best classes for you to take. Um, that was very important to me to build a relationship with my counselor. Make sure you take advantage of the schools, after school programs, uh, tutoring sessions, anything. Make sure you take advantage of study hall time. Now me, I study hall, I took my naps and everything else and I'm like, I'm tired, but make sure you take advantage of that. Do work and you know, go meet with other teachers that you're having problems with in their classes. Make sure you use every resource you have um, to make sure you're as, as successful as possible. Um, and I would just say, really cherish the years, cherish your freshman year. Those are like one of the most lenient, easiest teachers that you have. So you really need to, freshman year should be the year that you're building up your GPA. And um, just like she said, make sure you take advantage of the tutoring session. Never let yourself slip. That's just foolish when there's resources to help you. Um, I will also say that you want to stay disciplined. High school is going to be some of like, the best years of your life. But only if you let that be. So you don't want to spend the whole high school years stressing about school because you're getting behind. You know, so you want to stay on top of what you're doing, but you also want to let yourself have fun. Make sure you also, if you are working, I started working um, my junior year. And at first I felt like I had it under control and then eventually became a lot when me attending school and work and balancing that out. Make sure if you are working, um, I understand there is a requirement for some people to work. Make sure you're balancing your hours out. Make sure you're giving enough time to yourself, to school, and to work. Um, honestly, school should come first. Yourself should come first in school and then your job. Make sure your number one is not your job and you're too tired to do your homework or too tired to get up in the morning and go to school because that's very important. 
That's pretty much it. And that was another installment of Black Couch Convo. Once again, I'm your host, Josiah Johnson. My receiver. Jackie Butler. Have a good day, everybody.